Hello everyone, this is Meshko here. I just solved this problem, but looking at the nature of the problem, it seems there is no solution. Or maybe there is, but it is not real. Honestly, I don't know. So let's check it out. First of all, let's see whether it is real. Let's go ahead and then rewrite the equation in different form. I'm going to write it as e to the power ln of 1 to the power x, and this is equal to e to the power ln of 2. From the properties of logarithm, the power now becomes the leading number. So we're going to have e to the power x ln of 1 is equal to e to the power ln of 2. Now that the bases are the same, we can equate their powers. Therefore, we're going to have x ln of 1 is equal to ln of 2. If we divide 2 by ln of 1, we have x is equal to ln of 2 divided by ln of 1. Hmm, we have a problem here. ln of 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, we have ln of 2 divided by 0, which is undefined. So therefore, it is clear that this equation has no real solution. So let me get rid of this. So how can we solve the complex solution to the problem? Let's start. Let's go ahead and then use Euler's formula. Euler's formula is given by e to the power i times theta is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta. Now, what is theta? On the Cartesian plane, for a radius of 1 unit, cos of theta, where theta is equal to 0, will be somewhere here. So when theta is equal to 0, we are going to have e to the power i times 0, which is equal to cos 0 is simply 1, then plus sine 0 is 0, so this one will be equal to 1. Now, from here, when theta is equal to 0, we know we have this equation here. If we move 360 degrees, we are going to have theta to be equal to 360 degrees. Now, 360 degrees in radian, that will be 2 pi. Now, if we put this into the equation, Euler's equation, we have e to the power 2 pi times i is equal to cos of 360, that is 1, then plus sine of 360 is equal to 0. We still have this equation over here. Now, if we move 360 twice, we're going to have 1, that is 2 pi, then 2, that is 4 pi, that will be 720 degrees. So theta will be equal to 720 degrees. Then in radian, it will be 4 pi. Now, if we put this one in Euler's equation, we're going to have e to the power i times 4 pi is equal to cos of 720, that will be 1, then sine of 720 is 0. So in either ways, we are getting 1, 1, 1, 1 over here. So it means that we have so many angles for theta. So let's go ahead and then write the general angle for theta. Theta will be equal to 2 times n times pi, where n is an integer. Right? So therefore, on the left-hand side, we're going to have e to the power i times 2n pi is equal to 1. Now, what does this mean? It means that 1 to the power x equal to 2. Wherever we see 1, we're going to put this. Right? So, let's go back to the equation and then solve. This is the problem, actually. Let's solve it. Now, we are going to replace this one by this. So, we will have e to the power i times 2n pi then all to the power x is equal to 2. Now let's multiply this by this one from indices, right? So we'll have e to the power i times 2n 
pi x is equal to 2. Now let's drop this power down by introducing ln on each side of the equation. So we have ln of e to the power i times 2 n times pi times x is equal to ln of 2. And now we can drop it down. We have i times 2 n times pi times x is equal to ln of 2. We want the value of x, so let's divide through by i times 2n times pi. i times 2n times pi. So that the whole of this and this will go. We have x is equal to ln of 2 divided by i times 2n times pi. But remember that i is equal to square root of negative 1. But always we don't want square root to be a denominator. So let's go ahead and then multiply the numerator and then the denominator by i. So that we get x is equal to i ln of 2 divided by i times i that is negative 1 times 2 and pi. And we can rewrite this as x is equal to negative i ln of 2 divided by 2n pi. Note that n is never equal to 0. And this is our final answer. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to my channel.